This is the first test of basically mind test. Based, uh, I had an idea, and I want to get it down vocally, and I want to get it down paperly, physically, drawingly, uh, before it goes away. Now, I'm sure listen to this video because it is basically a tick shy of midnight. And I was asleep over there in my bed when this idea came to me, and it came very strong, and I don't, I don't want to get rid of it. Um, it, I'd rather keep it in. What the heck are you bleeping? Go away. Uh, sorry about that. So basically, I want to keep it in my head. Um, if this does go through and I like this, we'll keep doing this, and I'll keep trying to pull ideas. But basically, um, we've got two characters. It might end up growing to be more, but we've got two characters that I care about right now. One of them, oh, stylized, old, Germanic knight. I think I'm going to go with uh, Bucket Helm, one, because it's very freaking easy to draw. Two, because it fits the idea of my character. I don't, the character does not want to show their face. They like to stay hidden. Um, they like to, you know, they don't want to be known physically. They don't want people to see them. Uh, to be told, you should probably give them some sort of a tall gorget because of what they're going to be fighting and doing. But it's going to be a hot guard, I think, that guard that comes up into here. Just because, one, I really like the idea, and two, it pulls up. Um, now, I think Germanic Knight, I kind of do like the, well, heck, the Petulants are good just because they are a good part of the armor. So I'm just going to draw those on. Now, the first character, the, mm, I guess, main focus, not so much the main, no, not the main character we're going to mainly be following, but the main character, um, dark, soldiery type, uh, I'm not going to have a tabard, because, again, they don't want people to recognize, know them, stuff like that. Um, although I do think I'm going to incorporate a lot of leather in their armor because I'm going to run these as monster hunters. And so, yes, the guild, the hilts would be on the top of the leather so it could be easier to pull. So I'm going to give knives, uh, pouches, you know, a whole bunch of knickknacks all over because I'm going to need. You know, you're going to need different stuff to be able to fight different things. So I'll just basically give give different pouches and stuff. Now, I think I may have said her a couple of times instead of just the character. Uh, first character, uh, old female soldiers. I'm going to have her scarred up, beaten up, attractive, but in the um, torn up old soldier type. She's going to have... Uh, Let's see, that's actually going to be probably chainmail for the type because full plate is very, very expensive. In fact, I'm even going to do, I'm probably just going to do helmet, guard, arms, legs. I'm thinking about either between brigand or maybe plate or leather. I personally love plate. Plate is still my favorite. Globos is my all-time favorite armor. Uh, actually wearing it and being in it and fighting in it. I really like the Globos. That's a personal thing. Uh, she's going to want mobility, but she's also going to want a lot of protection because she's going to be fighting things that you, know, you only hear about in fairy tale stories. So that's basically what she fights. Um, thinking about either making it as if there was an order of it or something, or... Uh, probably once was an order, maybe, and she's still a freelancer. I know I'm going to pull the knights, my my knights of the white star, my Ignis Ardius, my the burning torch. B guys, of course, I throw my pen. Uh, that's why I have multiple pens. Yeah, the ink still there. <laughs> throw them all over the place. It's, like I said, this is my main idea: of focusing, getting moving. Um, and so I really like, and then have her. As that now, she's got the apprentice, which uh, which is the main person, the guy we're going to be following. Now, I think the story behind him is he was a rescue 
uh, basically saved his life his fa uh, and his family didn't make it. He was the only survivor. Um, or maybe, uh, no, that wouldn't work. I was thinking maybe gypsy-ish, but no. I want him to be roguishly handsome, like that really handsome, uh, guy, slim featured guy that's always used to having the barmaids following him and stuff like that. So I, I gotta make him lean and lean and tight. Now, I personally like facial hair. Uh, it's a personal thing. Like I said, I think if you take a, a well manicured beard, is a sexy beard. But I don't wanna get, especially since this is gonna be taking place around the Germanic areas and stuff. But I don't want to go too crazy with the beard, so maybe a nice mutton train. Let's see, I know I want the those sexy dark brooding eyes. He's going to be our happy-go-lucky-ish. Uh, but not very happy-go-lucky. Let's see, let's make his hair. Let's make his hair a little messy. A little messy, because he does, he does live out on the trail with, with his, uh, his master. His, his knight, since he's the squire to her. But not too messy, because he cares about his looks. He wants, he likes people to think nice of him. He likes people. A little, little rogue a smile on him. Make his cheeks a little gaunter there. Now, question is, do I want... There we go. Sexy man, you could see him smiling to women. Now, him I'm definitely going to put in probably leather or armor, such like that. The main reason is because he doesn't have the the age and the money that she's got. She's had her armor for a while. He's just brand new to the business, still a squire. So he's probably, eh. Let's see, do I want to give him a little, a little fuzz? You look good with the. Uh, ah, let's see. With it or without it, I don't know. Maybe. Well, let's give him some sideburns. Sideburns are always sexy, and just a little tiny goatee pop. Because this is Germany, you're not a man until you have facial hair, especially. So I haven't decided, uh, 15, 14, what century we're gonna be in yet. Because, like I said, I literally just a few minutes ago, this idea started brewing in my brain. But he's going to be that sexiest man. She's going to be fun, sad-eyed, beaten up armor, going from village to village, basically monster hunting. That's basically what I'm going to have her be doing, village, village, monster hunting, such on like that. Oh, I really like this song. I have right now, um, I think it's Mirror Mirror or Dark Mirror or something like that. Uh, what song? It's the Bard song. Who are you? Yes, I know. Your Bard song. Studio great. Oh, Blind Guardian. Okay, so not Mirror Mirror. Blind Guardian. Anyways, another really fun band. I really like them. Um, so I know I'm at least going to give her a blank white tabard. Just because that was... A tabard was the style then, and I can see it coming into a bunch of the uses, as well as you do need a tabard, because I am a knight, not a... Yeah. Um, let's see, she's going to have multiple swords, mainly because, you know, different things. She's going to have, like, that silver sword, steel sword, maybe even a meteorite sword. Different enemies, different things you got to fight, and different types of swords, too. We're gonna have like one of those big old chopper blocks. Uh, probably a thin rapier. She's got a couple of knives, maybe a nice dynamo. Let's go ahead and put a a, a knife in her um bracier. Brace bracer. Because a bracier I think is a bra is a bra like thing, but eh, whatever. We're giving her stuff. She's gonna be our hidden knives, hidden smokes, hidden you know too used to fighting things that don't like to stay dead. I really like that helmet. I think I'm going to go with the crucifix idea, especially since vampires and so many other 
very common monsters are afraid or uh, are turned off by symbols of faith. Whether or not she still has faith in Christ or anything like that, eh, we'll see as the story progresses. We're not really going to see much of her until, well, much of her deeper things until he starts to learn much deeper things. So I don't want to make him too young when he, she picks him up. Because otherwise he, he's going to be doughy-eyed, you know, you're my, my mommy-like thing. But I don't want him too old. So uh, a couple years of the relationship, I think I'm going to pick it up, where she's just starting to learn onto the trade, and she finally finds him comped enough to go with him or something. Uh, it's, you know, he's going to have that nice Frenchman borderas. Yeah, we'll even pull out that full Frenchman Boderas. A little bit of poof, because he's a fancy man. Alright, mixing some styles here, because they've been having to travel quite a bit. Well, let's give him some, some poof sleeves. He could easily be seen as that dashing rogue character. You know, that... One that you could see running off with the woman at the end of the story. Heck, that he sees himself running off with the end of the story. That's a lot of it. Is he interprets himself as the hero, especially since you know I'm traveling with this this bad a woman that's been teaching me how to be a hero and stuff. So I've got to. He's going to be uh, a little smug standing. Uh, maybe a little bit showier. Uh, I'm going to give him a lot more of that rapier style because he likes it. It's it's nice. And I can think I just made him left-handed entirely on, on purpose, but because it was the opposite of her. <coughs> so I guess now he's, uh, he's left-handed, which is fine. We need more left-handed people in the world. Our brother's left-handed, so might as well. Oh, that's a nice, nice little tunic. I haven't drawn one of those in a long time. Fancy little man. Four straps, that's good. Little bells because those are known to chase off certain demons and such. As well as he's very bardy like. Give him some braided leather bracers. I'm going to probably make her a lot more massive than I'm drawing this picture because she's going to be a big German knight female. Although you can't tell she's female because you put a woman in plate, you can't tell. Believe me, I've been, yeah, I've made enough plate for females. It's, it's Sometimes you need to, sometimes you need a little bit more airy in it, but you don't want that curve because it's basically pointing right to your vital organs. She falls over. It, bas it um, degrades the strength of the armor, especially if you're going to be fighting Damon Strong. You, know, you want that armor to be strong, so you want a full rounded surf dome so that way bam it's going to support and displace that pressure very well now the place that you'll see cups and boobs and stuff like that is in leather armor or brigand armor or plated uh, scaled armor those you'll see it not scale mail because scale mail flows well e loose scale mail small scale mail chain mail leather armor light armors is where you'll see that because then you can deal with that and you're, you're fine but once you start dealing with plate and anything heavy, you start putting that in, and it degrades the armor, turns the armor defunct pretty dang quickly. Um, again, I know that from experience, but yeah, whatever. So she's going to have some nice brigade plate. She's got white. Um, not a f uh, Probably along the underside of this, she probably is going to have tons of different runes, cryers, and stuff like that. But she's just... You know, nice white and blue. Because I like the color blue, and I think she will too now. Personally, red's my favorite color, but eh. 
nice white and blue tunic to just put people, make them feel safe. Because she wants her clients to feel safe, even though, you know, she's not used to people anymore. One of the reasons why she keeps her apprentice on is because he still can deal with people. Alright, so we've at least given her full plate leggings. And I think I chain mailed her uh, for arms. But that's okay because I actually really like that way, that style, that idea. <coughs> and then he's going to be Mr. Poofy Pants. Because this idea. So I guess I'm making him a basically around the 13th century, I'd say, is from the, the design style. Maybe 13th century. Although not so much later 13th century, because then I'm going to have to give him pointed shoes, and I hate pointed shoes. Well, I guess he's not an Aristo, but no ermine. No ermine whatsoever. That was for the nobility. Um, can't remember what law that came into play. That the, you know, But basically, each cast, how much money you made, was how much what you were allowed to wear. If your household had so much gold income, you were allowed uh, jewels and hair or stuff like that. Like, that was the most common ones. Jewels were allowed in the hair in almost everything. Only like if you made so many, so many gold coins. We were actually allowed to have jewelry not in the hair, but also on the fingers, on the necklaces, stuff like that. Women, you were allowed jewel jewelry in the hair. The hair was your allowed thing. But then again, you also had to like roll up your hair and stuff like that. Only your husband was allowed to see your hair loose beyond a certain age. There's so many little fun little rules. And so many rules for the men. Don't think that, you know, just the women... They did kind of get the short end of the stick, but unless you were Nordic, mm. those Viking women, they owned literally, well, that's, that's a discussion for another time where I guess it, it is Germanic that we're dealing with, so kind of, but we're dealing more with the Teutonic, uh, Teutony. Yeah, kind of, I kind of like how she's turning out, how they're turning out. I think they, they're going to make a fun, a fun couple. Uh, she's probably going to be much more uh, rounded because, again, Germans are very rounded. That, that's why I think he's probably got some Italiano descent. Oh, Italiano. So she's got a rounded face, uh, close cropped hair because she's wearing a helmet and close cropped hair. Yeah. Uh, not too close just because that's going to be f hard to draw. I uh, got no facial hair because she's a woman. Okay, I've seen a few women with facial hair. Yes. Yeah, that's all I'm going to go with that. Mm. She nose has been broken a couple of times. Make her hair more choppy. There we go. Because, you know, I, I understand sometimes while people do long-haired fighting women, especially with helmets and stuff, because it's very attractive, very flowy and it you know that flowing hair and that flowing movement it's very very attractive and very click on the only problem is i don't see it as very viable especially when wearing a helmet i've had long hair and a helmet before i have friends who've had long hair and a helmet before you really have to tie that down before you put that helmet on because i've got to tie it down once that hurts also chainmail coifs i wore ended up starting wearing a leather strap like a big thick leather strap because getting your beard stuck in a chainmail coif, that hurts really bad. That's really, really bad, which reminds me I really need to get started on my chainmail again. I'm starting to fall behind. Alright, so. It's going to be big, large, -ish, strong. Not too, because she's got to be lean, agile, and fast. She's going to have some massive scars because she fights things that are way bigger than her. Uh, let's go ahead and remove her left eye. That's grown in and is gone now. We could even like pull off some, you know, Germanic Nordic voodoo crab. Her eye is gone now. It's been traded for oh, and a glass eye maybe, but the flesh is still there. That eye is scarred and gone. 
So her right eye is the only eye that's still working, or still a living eye. Which I now notice is my second character with a torn up left eye. Although I'm really tearing that left eye out. It really looks like she was in a, a tough fight. It's going to be fun to draw uh, draw these characters out now. But then again, this this is just my getting stuff moving, getting stuff thinking, going stuff along. So I'm going to basically follow these two around. Let's see how it goes. I don't want to give her too big of a chest because then the plate mail is going to hurt a lot more. A lot, lot more. So I'll give her... Although, you know, then again, the average woman nowadays is around a D. So I guess, you know, a B. B or D will, will work just fine. Yeah, the average woman has around a D-sized chest. Go figure. I think I'm going to continue with the thing of making her left side torn up and ripped up and stuff. Like something really, really bad happened to her there. Have the scars go up into the hairline. So basically her left side, left eye all torn up, ripped up. A lot of her coming down her neck. And torn up scars and stuff. Which is going to be really fun to continually have to draw. But I actually really kind of like this idea. And this that idea I get to go with. Especially since Ouroboros, starting Ouroboros is turning out to be really hard. But that'll be a guess for another video. Um, We're almost hitting 22 minutes. And I think that's really good for this first idea video. Uh, hopefully recording this and having this done and having drawn this picture, I'll then be able to wake up in about eight hours and actually have something to go off of. But this is for you guys because you are so patiently loving. I'll upload this to my uh, Tumblr later on. But uh, thank you. Thank you very much for spending your time with me and looking at my characters I'll probably end up doing another video we'll see if we can come up with some names and thank you again very much this bald man kinder